It is widely believed that the idea of the contact lens was conceived in 1508 by Leonardo da Vinci. However, da Vinci's studies were in fact focused on the workings of the eye through water, and he tested theories by submerging his head in bowls of water. In the 60 years or so that contact lenses have been around, they haven't changed that considerably. The main advances have been the inclusion of wetting agents to lubricate the eye and oxygen permeability, although you are more likely to have seen their use as fashion accessories. Now though, technology has advanced to the point where the eye could be the new mouth for medication and the new glucose meter for diabetics. The Triggerfish lens is available on the market today. Developed by Swiss company Sensomed, the lens contains a processing unit which can monitor pressure levels in the eye. This breakthrough technology acts to serve patients with glaucoma, and the lens also contains a micro antenna which can transmit data to a nearby receiver. However, micro power technology is still in its infancy, and if the patient doesn't wear glasses, to which a power cord would typically be connected to, they would have to wear this eye patch in order to power the contact lens. Dr. Babak Parviz of the University of Washington is in the process of developing a contact lens which could literally change the way in which we see the world. Currently, he and his team have developed a lens that can monitor glucose levels. This is possible because glucose levels in tear fluid directly correspond to those in the blood. These readings are normally taken using blood from the finger and recorded using a glucose meter. But now, thanks to Dr. Parvez's work, diabetics who wear the contact lens can look in the mirror and referencing the color of a ring around the lens can tell if their glucose readings are at a dangerous level. The ultimate goal for the project, however, is to create a heads-up display within the contact lens itself. Due to the nature of a contact lens, a display has to be specially developed by shrinking and manually aligning pixels. Dr. Parvez and his team have managed to create an 8 pixel display in a lens, and although that is a far cry from HD displays of today, it is a massive step in smart contact lens technology. Short extracts from emails have been successfully projected onto the lenses, but getting the eye to focus on an image placed directly onto the retina is still the biggest challenge. Glasses that focus an image onto a specially designed lens are already being developed by the American military. The intent of the glasses is to focus a close-up object into one eye and then a far away object into the other one. These ideally will be used on the battlefield. This technology becomes available to the public in 2014 when it's expected to be used in collaboration with current 3D displays. Augmented reality exists today as scores whilst watching the football or on television show logos. But by utilising smart lens technology, an exciting and believable way of interacting with the world is just around the corner. Dr. Parvez envisions a world with visual overlays, and he isn't the only one. In the next 20 years, the internet will be in our contact lens. We will simply blink and we will be online. And when I look at you, I will see your biography right next to you because my contact lens will identify who you are. You will always know who you are talking to. And if you speak to me in Chinese, no problem. I see Chinese subtitles translated into English underneath your picture. Google's Glass project, launched in March this year, plans to use technology already on the market to create glasses which synchronize with smartphones. They plan to use voice recognition technology to operate the glasses, however, which has previously been unpopular with users. It may be some time before we are all walking around with the digital world resting on our eyeballs, but the reality is, it's really not that far away.